folks, we are living in the best timeline right now. Ever since I saw Webtoon start working with other more established IPs, I always thought it would be a good idea for them to take that same energy and use it to expand upon the lore of video games. And fam, I guess Ubisoft and Webtoon heard my prayers because we got an Assassin's Creed Webtoon that expands upon the story told in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Like this is no adaptation people, this is a completely new story that just adds more to the Assassin's Creed lore. And one of the coolest things about it is that the studio who's working on it is Reed Eye Studio. The same guys who worked on Omni Reader and Overgeared and solo leveling. Which means you already know we gotta talk about this fam. So without much further ado, let's talk about Assassin's Creed Forgotten Temple. So our story begins in Macau in 1725. Since this falls up on the Black Flag story, we see Edward Kenway running away from a bunch of ninjas. We have no idea why they're after him, but Edward is finessing on these dudes, bro. And one thing I really like about this escape scene is that it feels just like the actual game. Like, I don't know, I feel like when you play enough Assassin's Creed, you kind of get a sense for what you can and can't traverse off of. And in this sequence, he uses structures similarly to how he would in the game. It shows that Reed Ice is trying to be as accurate as possible when it comes to the IP, and I really appreciate that. But anyway, Edward continues running, takes out two of his pursuers, and then he stopped in his tracks because he feels another personality trying to enter his mind. And we find out that this is our protagonist, Noah Kim. So Noah Kim in Edward's body is now running away from these ninjas and he has no idea why he's here, where he's at, why the people that are chasing him are chasing him, and worst off, who he is. Then we cut back to a week ago. We see that Noah is just your average South Korean kid from our time. He just finished doing one of those ancestry test things, but if you look closely at the window he's viewing, you can see the company responsible for the test is Abstergo. Now, for those not familiar with Assassin's Creed lore, Abstergo is not good news. They're pretty much the antagonist of the whole series. They're a front for the Templars, whose whole goal is to establish a new world order where they control everybody's minds. And on the opposite end, the Assassins, the Brotherhood, are all about free will. And the Templars and the Brotherhood have been fighting about this for like the longest time. So Abstergo running this is mad sus. And what makes it even stranger is that after he gets his results back, he gets an email saying, congratulations, you run a free trip to Macau. Now I don't know about you guys, but I never win things like these. Like if there's something where you get to do a survey and like you're randomly drawn to win a trip to some other island or some shit, I know for a fact I'm not winning. So me seeing something like this, immediately thinking it's sus. There's not a doubt in my mind that if I were to go on a trip like that, probably get kidnapped and probably by the same people People who sent me on the trip in the first place, but that's just me. What makes it even worse is that Abstergo's actually known for kidnapping people who they think is the descendant of a past assassin. What they do is that they put you in a machine called the Animus so you can relive the life of your assassin ancestor. And though that does sound kind of cool, the only reason they do it is to figure out what the assassins were doing in secret. So bottom line, Abstergo is evil, they're always gonna be evil. Noah, run away before you get caught. And at first, I'm proud of Noah. He's like, nah, this is sus. Anyway, I gotta focus on getting a job so that I can continue college, so I'd even have time to worry about a trip to Macau. But unfortunately, literally the panel right after we see him in Macau, he decided to go. I don't know what happened. I guess he really needed the vacation, but Noah, Noah, why? Why you do this to yourself, bro? He meets his guy from Abstergo and he spends his first day just sightseeing. But later that day, and thinking about how even though he's never been in this place, it seems familiar, a random ass limousine just rolls up behind him. Two suits come out and yoink him up, talking about how he holds a clue about what Edward Kenway was doing in Southeast Asia back in the early 1700s. They spray his ass with some knockout gas and bring him back to their HQ. And poor Noah, as they're doing this, homie's freaking the hell out, bro. He has no idea what's going on. He doesn't know what Abstergo is. He doesn't know what the Brotherhood is. So he's just like, please, I'm only a college student. What's going on? on bro but before he knows it he gets sent back to macau of 1725 in edward kenway's body and homie is beyond confused and fam to find out what happens next you already know you gotta read the webtoon for yourself now i'm not gonna hold you I am pleasantly surprised by how good this was. I feel like there are a lot of times where there are comics made for video games, even when they just expand upon the lore, that are just eh, they don't really add much, they, they just kind of feel like lackluster stories. I'm already really enjoying this because it's reminiscent of how other Assassin's Creed games begin. Like we have a descendant getting taken by Abstergo, and then he finds out that he's he has an ancestor who used to work for the Brotherhood. And I'm really curious to see if this is going to link to any of the other assassins from the AC lore. However, I also want to say this. Now that we're here, now that we have the Assassin's Creed webtoon, I think it's only right for us to give Ezio the same treatment. Like, I don't know about you guys, but Ezio 
Lucio is my favorite assassin from the Brotherhood, so I feel like it would be a wasted opportunity to not try to expand upon his lore in some way with maybe a different descendant from him. And Webtoon, if y'all trying to make more video game Webtoons just expanding upon lore, I'm 100% down. Give me, inject that in my veins. But with all that being said, y'all, thank you so much for watching the video. Shout out to Webtoon for this dope opportunity and sponsoring this video. Comment what other Webtoons you'd like to see me cover like this, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Shout out to all my amazing patrons, especially in these trying times. Y'all been helping out a lot, so I really appreciate you guys. If you want to become a patron and get dope perks like watching Honest Gaming History earlier or watching the Uncensored Webtoon reactions, check out my Patreon link in the description below. And yeah, with that being said, I'm off this. So be easy, stay lit, stay healthy out there, and don't forget, you can do whatever the hell you put your mind to. All it takes is practice and time. Peace out, y'all.